Hello everyone. Welcome to myonlineedu.com's video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we'll learn how you can integrate your chatbot using uh, Facebook Messenger. So, if you are still wondering how to create a chatbot, please look into the description field uh, where the link is given of the YouTube video where you can build the chatbot, you know, step by step. But in this video tutorial, we'll focus that whatever the chatbot that we already have built, now we will integrate with the Facebook Messenger. So to do that, you need to first create a Facebook page. So I'll just create a page. Okay. So it asks me to you know go for business or brand, it, or it can be community or public figure. So uh, let's go for you know community or public figure because this is just for a demo purpose. So let us give the name as my online edu chatbot demo and uh, the category as education website and let's continue. Okay, so you can you know skip all these steps uh, or you can upload the profile picture if you want. Also add a cover photo, you know I'll skip this phase, phase for this time being. Okay, so you know I have set up the page, nothing that it's just you know you need to create the page and give a proper name and I have you know added some image as well as the cover photo. So after that what you have to do is you have to go to developers.facebook.com, this is the URL and there you need to create a new app. So what is the name of the app? Let's say my online A2. Chatbot app. Okay, and then just create the app ID. So now you here you need to integrate with the various Facebook product. So basically we will be since we will be integrating with the Facebook Messenger, so we'll select the messenger from here. Okay, so I'll do the setup. Alright. So basically, you know, it gives about the information and then uh, about your app. Basically, this is the Facebook app. So now you need to connect this app with your Facebook page. So how do you do it? We first need to select a page over here, which will be my online edu chatbot demo page. And then you got a token. Okay. So copy the text, you know, uh, to the clipboard. I'll just copy this one. You need to copy it. So I'll just copy and put it here. Okay. So you have to set up the webhook. The webhook basically takes an HTTPS URL. So of your own server. But since we are working in the localhost with the WAMP server, so we need to use the ngrok.exe. To create an HTTP, you know, tunnel uh, IP address. So we'll just just you know invoke the ngrok.exe. and basically you know it will give me an HTTP as well as an HTTPS address, and then I'll copy it. So I'll give it here, okay, and then, okay, so, you know, this is the URL, my callback URL, and basically I am using the ngrok to get an HTTPS address um, from for my local machines, but if you have an actual server, you can give the HTTPS address over here, and then the following rest of this thing is the my path to that particular PHP file where I am handling 
uh, this particular bot request from Facebook and then the verified token and then I verify and save okay so now I need to subscribe this webhook to a particular page so I'll select the page and then I'll subscribe to it and then if you want to build in NLP something like that that is okay otherwise we are okay okay and then this particular thing is set up so you can see from your webhook you know and here basically then you know I need to go to the messages okay so now you know I have set up the Facebook application as well as I have integrated the Facebook application with my Facebook page now it's time to test my application whether the chatbot chatbot is working properly from the Facebook page or not so I'll go to this test button okay and then click and say hi and you see this nice button that is coming from the chatbot so basically it says that it is working wow I now I got the reply so if you remember that you know the chatbot was above the restaurant so I want to say that I want to make a reservation so again you know I got a response from a bot that enter the date and the time and the number for people and you know city name to make the reservation so i can you know uh, type all in one sentence as described in our previous video or you know one by one so maybe i'll say that on 7th of august at 7 pm for nine people So again, you know, the bot is working. So which city? I'll say maybe Kolkata. And for the name of the person, the booking will be, let's say, John. So now the bot is working. And it says that, thanks, John. So it recognized the name. I'm going to book the table for 9 on 7th of August at 7 p.m. in City Kolkata. Do you want to uh, confirm the booking? I say yeah. Or I could have you know, clicked that button. Fine. So it my reservation is done and it gave me the reservation number over here and you know uh, I am done with uh, all the reservation part so that is how the whole chatbot stuff is working uh, from the Facebook messenger so now let's dig into that particular part of the code where you know uh, we'll just discuss about the code go walk through the code and we'll you know see how the things are basically working so here is the code uh, for the Facebook so here's the token as well as the access token that you have got from the Facebook so and then uh, this particular stuff is required at the very first time when the Facebook basically verify your token and after that you know I got the response from the Facebook for each and every sentence typed sentence over here and then you know uh, I am calling this particular API just to give you that dot if you remember that whenever I typing something the bot was three dot was coming in the Facebook messenger uh, just a meaning to the giving a response to the user that the bot is working on it so this is the typing on action and after that you know I call over here I call the Watson API and got the response and then you know then I call back that particular response uh, with the Facebook messenger uh, API so I just feed that particular API response from the Watson to to Facebook and they return that Facebook you know with which whatever the message that uh, Watson has given to me and then uh, this particular section is handling with the 
the buttons in the Facebook. Uh, if you remember that, you know, the yes no buttons or wh whether you want to make a reservation or those things. So those things were coming up over here. And this is the function which is uh, been used to call the Facebook API using the PHP curl uh, methodology process. Okay. Uh, so that's how the things are working. Uh, and hopefully, you know, uh, it's very easy and very uh, in less than, uh, you know, 10 minutes, you can build uh, this chatbot and integrate this with the Facebook Messenger. So let me know if you have any questions. Thank you very much.